Hi, I'm Sam Mamolo. We're here in Timminsville, South Carolina, a great place, home of Perfection Clutch, the best clutch company in the business. You know, they got a 200,000 square foot facility here, and of course they have a 55,000 square foot facility in Reno, Nevada for the West Coast. And everything happens right here. Design, testing, packaging. Come on, let me give you a tour of this place. You know, since 1974, Perfection Clutch has been a member of the Marmon Group, which derives its name from the famous Marmon Wasp, winner of the first Indy 500. They own 125 diverse manufacturing companies and a 35th on the Forbes magazine list of privately held companies in the United States, and they've got $7 billion in revenue. You know, when you look at this inventory, it's pretty impressive. These racks are stacked to the ceiling with Perfection Clutch kits, and of course, having an inventory like this allows you to give customer service. In this building alone, on any given day, there's over $10 million of clutch inventory. So, you want to know how a clutch is born? Well, there's a lot more to it than you think. We're here at Perfection Clutch's Development Lab, and we're here with my buddy Gary. He's the product manager. I call him Dr. Clutch. How are you, buddy? Sam, thanks for coming. What do you got up here on the rack? 2007 Dodge Ram with a 5.9 Cummins with the new six-speed transmission. Nice truck. So you stepped up and bought yourself a new one, huh? This one belongs to Perfection. We purchased it a couple months ago so we can do development work on the clutch and the flywheel. So that's the way Perfection does it. They buy their own truck or their own vehicle. That way they can tear it apart, see what the OE did, test it, do all kinds of neat stuff. Let's see what you're doing. I bet you that adds a few ponies, doesn't it? It does, in addition with the tuner that we put on this one and some other parts we're going to add to it later. But this is our platform. We've got our new solid flywheel conversion and our own design pressure plate disc in here. We know people are going to take these trucks, work them hard, play hard with them, and they want to enjoy it. And we want to give them a clutch and a flywheel that will get that job done. But it takes a lot of equipment to get all this work done, too, in addition to this lift. Oh, yeah? We've got a lot of that stuff right here in the lab. Well, this is a nice lab. What you got in the bench here? Thanks, Sam. This is the clutch we took out of the 2007 Dodge Ram diesel. Mm -hmm. This is a self-adjusting clutch cover with a traditional disc and a dual mass flywheel. Does a great job for noise, vibration, and harshness in the cab, but it's got a lot of extra features that for a performance package, we don't really need to add to the truck. Okay, and this is the flywheel with the clutch removed? This is a dual mass flywheel again. They built the torsion damper down inside here. Mm -hmm. So they put a torsion damper in the flywheel and another one inside the clutch disc. What kind of failures have you seen with that? As this one is a very new truck, we've never seen any failures yet, but we've seen failures on a similar design from another truck right here. This truck probably has about 50,000 miles on this one, and when this small bushing fails right here, it allows the secondary side Ooh. of this flywheel to move. Yep. So you would feel a vibration in the engine. So you want to build a clutch that doesn't slip. You want to have a clutch that's got a lot of bite, huh? We want to be able to take all the torque that that engine creates and pass it right through the transmission. Looks like that clutch didn't slip. This was a, uh, an installation on a Dodge 5-speed with one of our ZVT covers. Did a little racing with it and actually snapped the complete nose of the input shaft off on that truck. That means the clutch didn't slip, so you're going to show us that one in a little bit? We'll show you the ZVT a little later. That's pretty interesting. It looks like a cake decorator. No, it's actually a coordinate measuring machine, Sam. Cool. Perfection actually owns three of these machines. Two of them are here in this facility. It's a very precise, accurate, simple way for us to get all of the bolt holes, the crank registers, the diameters, the position of the bolts themselves. Mm -hmm. And this is one of our production parts. We've actually done some auditing on it, bring it in here. Great. So you right. can take the OE part and put it here and get your dimensions off of that, huh? Get all the dimensions off. In just a few minutes, we can get all the numbers we need. When we're all done, we get a drawing that looks like this. You know, I said balancer like I knew what I was talking about. That's what this thing looks like. This is our balancer, Sam. Okay, now you use this just for engineering and development, or you do other things with it? We do it for auditing. We do it for inspection to establish the specifications. Anything we need on a flywheel or even a clutch cover, we can fix it on this machine. So if you design it, engineer and build it, you want to make sure you can balance it. How close does this thing come? We can get it within one gram at any radius on this flywheel. Oh, it's pretty close. This is a very accurate machine. But you got some other stuff to show me, don't you? we got some neat stuff over here. Let's go. All right, Gary, what do you call this thing? This is our disc compression tester, Sam. Uh -huh. It's real important that we know the compressed thickness and the release thickness of a disc as we set it up for development or testing. Pretty unique. You guys designed this machine yourself? This is an old piece of equipment that Perfection designed a long time ago. We use air pressure on a cylinder to compress the disc. We can set it at a specific pressure and uh -huh. then uh, do the test. This is our clutch testing machine, Sam. We test plate lift and release load at this machine right here. We want to make sure that we meet or exceed the plate lift and 
don't exceed the release load specifications for those parts. Most people have no idea how far the pressure plate lifts off. Typical for a 12 inch clutch, about 55 to 60 thousandths of an inch. Okay, now what's Sean doing over there? Sean's working on clamp load testing down there. Clamp load is a very critical factor to prevent slippage. We have to baseline the clutches that we get in as samples or from vendors and then do the baseline again on our product down there. We do it on a curve so we can see how it is at the new disc, when it's worn, and when it's worn out. So I see you got this uh, high performance clutch here. This is the one you were teasing me about. Tell me about this. This is the new ZVT system that's out. What does ZVT mean? Zoom Variable Torque. All right. As the RPM increases, these levers in this cartridge right here, they apply force directly over top of the spring, directly through to the casting. So they increase clamp load as soon as the engine is turned on. That's a good looking piece, and of course, I see this is a diesel truck, this is a big one. You got other applications, right? We've got this for other high performance applications like the Mustang. Cool. Step into the library. Now this is not your average library, it's not filled with books, but the information on these shelves is just as valuable, in fact more valuable. Here you can find every style of OE and aftermarket clutch on the market. This is a large investment made by Perfection Clutch. Perfection Clutch is committed to being the finest supplier of clutch products in the automotive aftermarket. And before they can meet OE standards, they have to know the OE products. Now we know Perfection Clutches look like OE, fit like OE, and will perform like your original equipment clutch. After all that precision, testing, and measuring, all the components are brought out here to the component warehouse where they're stored individually on shelves. Then they're brought to a staging area like this. And you can see we've got covers, we've got clutch discs, we've got throw-out bearings, we've got alignment tools, we've got pilot bearings. All of these components are brought over to a packaging line where a skilled team assembles them into a complete kit just for you. Well, here we are at the finish line of clutches. You can see all these clutches packaged up on this pallet, ready to be put in the shipping area. They're shipped all over the world for the end user. Now, when we say a perfection clutch, that you get a complete kit. Let me show you. After it comes off that packaging machinery and goes in these boxes, you get things like this. This particular application takes a hydraulic disconnect tool. That comes in the box. You don't have to wait for the tool, man, if you don't have one. And any technical bulletins that apply to this application to help you do the job right, are right in the box. Now, in, in, even though you have this incredible packaging, everything is in there. I want to show you what a complete kit's all about. I'm going to take my knife and slice this open, okay? Now, this is really tough packaging because it makes your clutch set arrive to you just like it came off the line. Got your release bearing, all nice and new. And like I said, this is tough packaging, and it's designed that way. When you get it, this clutch is not going to have any rust on it. It's going to be just as new as when it came off the machine. And of course, when you install it in the customer's car, it looks great. You get your clutch cover, and of course you get your alignment tool, you got your pilot bearing, and a, you've got your friction disc. You don't want to get greasy fingerprints on this, so it's also protected. That's a complete clutch. Here's your hydraulic disconnect tool everything you need for that application. But remember, you've got a truck or a car that's got a lot of miles on it. There are other peripheral items that can be worn out. For example, when the transmission has the hydraulic throw-up bearing mounted on the front of the transmission, if you don't replace this, you put in a new clutch, now you've got more clamping load. Okay? It could make the old one fail. If it fails and you've got to come back, you're taking the transmission out, another four or five hours labor to do the job right, so you want to put one of these in. And of course, that's operated by Hydraulic Clutch Master. All of this is available, cables, everything you need to complete the job Perfection Clutch has. Now here's an interesting thing. Flywheels are thinner than they've ever been. When you take a flywheel off, you've got to get it machined. You can't put a new clutch on an old flywheel. You're at the mercy of the machine shop, more downtime. Perfection Clutch has got brand new replacement flywheels all ready to go. Put a new flywheel in. You also get the benefit of a new style of ring gear. They're packaged well. We call this servicing the entire system and that's the best way to go.
Well, here we are in the loading dock area. You can see how well lit, clean, and spacious this place is, just the way we do everything at Perfection Clutch. All the pallets are wrapped. Everything's ready to go out that door behind me, onto the tractor trailers, and shipped all over the world to Perfection Clutch users. Our customer order fill rate here at Perfection Clutch is over 99%. And you know, we're here in Timminsville, South Carolina. We've got 55,000 square feet in Reno, Nevada. We can service our West Coast customers, and we turn orders around normally in 24 hours. Maximum is 48. Well, I hope you enjoyed our tour of Perfection Clutch. It's a great product and it's a great place. But I never give up. I'm never done working. I want to help these guys. I'm going to go out and test the clutch in this Mustang. For more information, log on to perfectionclutch.com and zoomperformance.com.